I figure any old building worth its salt has to have a few ghost stories with it. And this building is worth its salt, or silver, before it became the Utah governor's mansion. It was built in 1902. It was the private home of Park City miner turned owner of the Silver King mine, Thomas Kearns. So much history, it's hard to really know everything that went on. Kearns became a senator, befriended presidents, lived here, and died here in 1918. He had been in a car accident on State Street and that brought him in and he died about four days later in one of the bedrooms on the second floor. Thomas's widow, Jenny, later donated the house to the state. It's now the governor's mansion. So we always joke that when anything happens around here, oh, it's just Thomas Kearns. <laughs> the first lady says her husband doesn't seem to notice when things go bump in the night, but she's gotten used to it. I think it's interesting the fact that it doesn't even bother me anymore. I find it interesting, I find it humorous, I find it, you know, I, I can't explain it, but it's not like it affects me because I've never felt anything, like I said, sinister or evil or anything more prankish. Like the night she was in this room with her daughter. It was probably about almost 10 o'clock at night, we were down here alone, and all of a sudden in the room next to us, the parlor, we heard this crash, and my daughter kind of grabbed me. <laughs> But when we got in there, there's a picture of the Kearns family, and it's kind of in a heavy metal frame that sits on a table, and it had just fallen onto the floor. Nothing to, you know, cause it to fall, but it did. But it's got a sturdy stand on the back, and it just sits like this, but it had fallen, and the glass had broken, and everything was right here on the floor, and, but it was very loud. I mean, it was because it's heavy metal. I mean, that, feel how heavy that frame is. It's very, oh, yeah. very heavy. The workmanship that went into this mansion, very unique. Or the time she was decorating the ballroom on the top floor. It was at Christmas time and I was decorating up there for an event for the next day. And when I was up there, then I kept hearing this. And I finally just talking to myself said, stop now, I'm too busy for this. <laughs> <laughs> Another time, it was a security guard who was rattled when alarms went off for seemingly no reason. On the second floor, which, as I said, is locked off to the general public, then the light went on in one of the back bedrooms. So he came back in, hustled upstairs, looked all around, never found anything. Who was that? Thomas Kearns. <laughs> After all of the experiences that you've had in this house, are you a believer in the paranormal? I believe that spirits live here on Earth. Well, I think with all of that, we all kind of have that belief that, you know, there's spirits around us and, and, you know, some are here to do good and some are here to not do so good. So it's kind of, you know, trying to figure out which ones are hanging around. And if anybody needs to get in touch with a loved relative on the other side, can they call you? This would be a good place. <laughs> <laughs>